actually own a 3DS anymore, and I wish I got this one. It looks interesting. From the recent Scott the Waz video, which talks about it, it looks like an interesting game to play through. It even has a better level customizer. I'm tired of getting that simplistic level maker. It's still cool that they managed to add little simple level makers to games like Wrecking Crew and stuff. And though their first his versions or some later release would probably fix that level maker in some way, which is interesting to know about. Also, the arcade version of Excite Bike is available on the Switch as well. Also, it was originally called at first is Excite Bike in arcades, though the game itself is says it's Excite Bike, and that doesn't usually appear in games that are similar to this, like First is Super Mario Brothers or First is Balloon Fight. Overall, a pretty simple game, and I had to rush this video out a bit because I wanted to make something. Uh, so, uh, uh, bye. See you guys uh in like maybe like two more weeks. I don't know. I don't know when I'll make my next discussion video. I hope it doesn't take too long to make it. I don't want people to just keep thinking, oh yeah, Armani's not, uh, he's being lazy. No, I'm not, guys. I'm, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Don't worry. Bruh. Kirby, he's one of the most lovable pink puffballs you'll ever see in the video game industry. On the Nintendo Switch. So, see, Monkey Sir, we actually have made an entirely new Kirby game, and it's a sequel to an older Kirby game on the 3DS. Give me some chimichangas. Oh, you might be thinking, wait, Armani, is this elusive game? basically just Super Kirby Clash that released in 2019 for free. No, it isn't. It never was Kirby Clash, so don't try it. It was actually Kirby Fighters 2, which was a sequel to Kirby Fighters Deluxe, which was a re-release of Kirby Fighters that was bundled with Kirby Triple Deluxe as a sub-game. Yeah, it's pretty complicated. So I guess this is just a sequel to Deluxe, or is it a sequel to Deluxe, which could be a sequel to the original Kirby Fighters? Lead I remind you that the Japanese name for Kirby Fighters Deluxe makes more sense since it's supposed to be a better or better sequel than the original Kirby Fighters on the 3DS in Triple Deluxe. Yeah, it's pretty confusing. I can't wait until DDD gets his spotlight again in a sequel to DDD's drum game or whatever. No, I guess that's not gonna happen since Kirby and the Forgotten Land got announced recently as if I'm recording this. I don't know when I'm gonna release this, probably in like December or something. Who knows? So yeah, this is basically Kirby Fighters 2, released on a day after it got leaked on the Nintendo website, thanks to Play Nintendo. Thank you so much, Play Nintendo. My favorite website to look at which is my favorite WarioWare character. Okay, I'm getting off topic, but basically, this is a sequel to Kirby Fighters Deluxe. It is not Super Kirby Clash! But at this time yeah well, let me just look through this whole game in a very non-in-depth way so yeah you're gonna be hearing a lot of <laughs> K K kirby a lot of the time so um get ready for that anyways let's a uh, go to hell <sighs> okay armani you got this press a we can get into this review I'm not gonna take long to do can do this ah! here we have a few modes battle mode online mode local play story mode and single-handed mode we'll talk about that one later overall i think this is a pretty good selection of modes though it is kind of lacking in what content you can find there is the extras you can unlock but yeah if anyone's gonna come up to me and say oh yeah i really love single-handed mode then i would probably rather slap them in the face than agree with them because single-handed mode is pretty difficult. We'll talk more about that one later. But wait, Armani, how does the game feel? And to that I say, it's pretty good. Nothing mind-blowing for sure, especially since half of the roster is literally just the same character with a different move, but I do like what they did here. I am not no Kirby Fighters Deluxe or Kirby Fighters 2 expert, so I really don't play this game competitively unless I'm playing it online or something. Even then, I'm pretty casual with the f other people in the game. But still, it's a pretty fun game, and I really like how the controls are. It's pretty good, too, and it never feels like it's unfair. It's just 
really fun, okay? Real fun. Real fun to get that hidden on that dumb CPU you've been fighting for hours in single-handed mode. Real fun. I think the map selection is also pretty cool. We have green gardens from Kirby Star Allies. Heck, we even have those Taranza sister people, whatever is Battlefield from that game too. Plus, Gourmet Go Go, which I think is referencing Kirby Superstar or something like that. That's what I'm guessing it's based off. It's e they even had Dried Up Sea. D dried Up Sea! But yeah, we also have some other ones like this, Bubbly Clouds, which is taken straight from Kirby Fighters Deluxe. Dyna Blade's Nest. Even the training stage from Kirby 64 for some reason. So this obviously is just some quality of life Kirby fan service Hal's been doing ever since Planet Robobot. Plus, even a whole new story mode! What?! You heard me correct. An entirely new story mode in Kirby Fighters 2. Though I haven't really gotten to the end of it. Wait, Armani hasn't gotten to the end of something? That's the first time this has ever happened. Still, yeah, it's a pretty hard mode. I haven't even gotten to the final chapter yet. What a bum. But yeah, still a pretty fun mode though. You get a couple of challenges. The bosses do get repetitive from time to time, but I still like the idea of having two different players go against tons of different bosses. Almost reminds me of another game that released a year before this one. Oh well, must be my imagination. Or could it? Hmm. 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 But at the same time, yeah, this is basically the story. Pretty fun mode. Liked it. Okay. Uh, and also single-handed mode. No! Not single-handed mode! Yeah, this is single-handed mode. Basically, the story mode if the challenges were a lot more difficult for no reason. And while I did enjoy it for the most part, it was still a pretty annoying mode. Like, it's kind of unfair that you have two other fighters just randomly beating you up. Like, you're not even- I'm not even at their skill level yet, I'm only in normal. How did it take me 11 minutes to beat this? Yeah, it's kind of funny and also kind of ironic that I even said this game was un was fair. I'm only talking about the main modes, not the um. Okay, hold up. I gotta, I gotta think about the, the line. I forgot the line. Oh, I was gonna say something random. Um, the single-handed mode. At the same time, yeah, those are basically all the modes you can talk check out. There is online mode. I don't even want to get into the mess that is Nintendo Switch Online lag. Like, it might be up there with Super Smash Bros. Brawl. That's kind of bad. Nintendo. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Anyways, I'll probably just make a whole nother video about that Switch Online thing. But yeah, to be honest, Kirby Fighters 2 is a pretty good game. I liked it. While it doesn't have as much content as you would expect, there's still a lot of enjoyment to be found here. I might actually think it's better than the original books. I don't even remember much about the original books. For $20? Yeah, it's kind of an interesting thing. Yeah, you can debate that all by yourself. I'm not about to go, like, 60 minutes, say, like, every other YouTuber saying, Oh, Nintendo, I'm still gonna buy your products, even though I keep saying it over and over, uh, I'm not gonna buy your products, because you suck, Nintendo. You suck! But no. To be honest, this was a pretty crazy review. And I didn't really do much. Yeah, just talked about Kirby Fighters 2 for almost 10 minutes. That's a great way to get ad revenue. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for the 29 subscribers, or 28, I guess, I don't know. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. And I'm sorry that I actually took like a month away from uploading. I'll mm, upload consistently from now on, hopefully. I really hope. Anyways, yeah, peace out, and please check out this game. It's fun, it's cool, it's a pretty good game. Pretty chill game, you can play with your friends. You can also get competitive with it. I don't care what you do with it. It's a good $20 alternative to Super Smash Bros. Now, what about that new Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl? Hmm. Oh, wait, I have like 50 other video topics. Uh, well, maybe next time I can talk about... Snails. Snails.